Energy didn't follow rules meant to protect people and property. Now that's the finding of the Missouri Public Service Commission. Its report just released today on last year's JJ's explosion yeah. and fire. 41 Action News investigator Melissa Yeager has spent the day analyzing this report and joins us now live. Well, Krista, this 125-page document is really a long-awaited report. All of the parties that were affected by the tragedy that happened out here really wanted it to answer a couple of questions, like how did this happen and who is at fault? It's been almost a year since an explosion destroyed JJ's restaurant, injured several employees, a Heartland Midwest worker, an MGE worker, and took the life of server Megan Kramer. The long-awaited report from the Missouri Public Service Commission, the government body that oversees utilities in Missouri, gives a detailed account of that day. Heartland Midwest crews were laying fiber optic cable for Time Warner when they struck a gas line. The report confirms what 41 Action News investigators first revealed with these exclusive pictures. There were only two utilities marked, but three underground. In the opinion of the Public Service Commission, Heartland could have avoided the gas line if workers had only known it was there. But the report hits Missouri Gas Energy the hardest for how they responded to the leak, for not evacuating people quickly and emphatically, and not turning off the gas line to JJ's restaurant. Witnesses previously told 41 Action News they were never emphatically told to evacuate. But the report notes that two MGE technicians said they told a JJ's manager to shut the restaurant down and even called to report that decision to an MGE supervisor. The report leaves a few questions unanswered, like why didn't that line get marked and what ignited the gas? The report also outlines 10 recommendations for Missouri Gas Energy, including making sure that personnel are trained to, quote, clearly, quickly, and forcefully communicate to people inside a building the urgency to immediately evacuate. The Public Service Commission is also taking steps that could lead to penalties for MGE. I'm investigator Melissa Yeager, 41 Action News.